Here are today's top stories. First, we now have new insight into Johnny Depp's exit from Warner Brothers' Fantastic Beasts film franchise. THR's Neha Joy has more. On November 5th, the crew of the Warner Brothers' untitled third Fantastic Beasts film were notified that Depp, who was reprising his role as the dark wizard Gillard Grindelwald in the five-film franchise, had been pulled from the shooting schedule. The studio's film chief, Toby Emmerich, made the decision to sever ties with the star just one day prior. The call was prompted by a UK judge dismissing Depp's defamation claims after a publisher for British tabloid The Sun referred to Depp as a, quote, wife beater. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Warner's wanted to allow due process to take its course before making a decision on the embattled star's future in the franchise. However, even though the studio is opting to recast the role less than midway through the franchise, Warner Brothers will still be obligated to Depp's full salary. One source says that Fantastic Beasts writer J.K. Rowling, who was Depp's highest profile backer, did not even push back on the studio's move to cut the actor. Narcos Mexico has added nine series regulars to the recently announced third season. When the drug cartel drama returns and evolves along the Narcos Mexico timeline, the new faces will join a returning cast led by Scoot McNary, and will pick up in Mexico after Diego Luna's exit. New cast members joining the show for season three include Luis Gerardo Mendez, who will play a Juarez cop with a moral dilemma who is drawn into the mystery of a series of brutal killings. Alberto Guerra has been cast as an independent drug trafficker whose unassuming manner belies the fact that he is quietly one step ahead of everyone else. And Luisa Rubino steps into the role of a young, idealistic, and ambitious journalist whose mission to expose corruption brings her an even bigger story than she anticipated. A slew of guest stars were also announced on Tuesday, including Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, aka Bad Bunny. And Kaylee Cuoco is opening up about transitioning from The Big Bang Theory towards darker material with her HBO Max thriller, The Flight Attendant, in a new THR interview. Naya has more on that story, too. When asked about her pivot with the flight attendant, Cuoco says, they'll say I'm rebranding, but it's just another job. And when it comes to the longevity of her career, Cuoco says she wants to model it after the likes of Reese Witherspoon or Jennifer Aniston. These are women who played very specific characters that the world fell in love with and went off and did other things and did them brilliantly. That's a big deal. It makes me believe that I can be something after Big Bang. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and click right over here for all the latest entertainment news. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.